hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing good so today in this video we'll learn how to apply sorting in an editable grid like how we do it in a read only grid and i know editable grid doesn't support sorting but i have got you guys covered so without wasting further more time let's get right into the video all right as you can see i have already configured this editable grid just to save some time of mine and loss too first things first you have to get rid of this label okay this is nothing but the name of the column right you cannot get rid of this parameter completely because this is something which is used to define the number of columns right and make sure the number of components in grid row layout are equivalent to the number of grid layout header cell okay otherwise it is going to throw you an error now we just have to copy this okay grid row layout and paste it right above this a bank for each okay i think comma is missing here and in this grid row layout we don't need text field as a components okay we will be needing a bank rich text display field to show the concatenation of label and the icon okay so i need to have an array of rich text right first one is gonna be for label and the second one is gonna be for icon okay text should be first name because we want our first column to be named as first name okay and here i will use another a bank rich text icon to show the icon okay see here it says the row at index 1 has one components expect two components it is expecting two components as i said before the number of components in grid row layout should be equivalent to the number of header cells okay in this grid row layout we only have one component so i'll just copy this and paste it right below this okay this is gonna be for my second column which should be named as last name and then an icon is needed on click of which it should sort my data okay basically this grid rule layout is for labeling the header cells and this grid rule layout is iterating over this employees data to loop through an expression that creates each row okay now we have to make these icons clickable okay and how do we do that using link parameter in rich text icon okay a bank dynamic link make it a hyperlink okay and in save into parameter i will use a bank save to save the column name in a local variable okay so we'll declare a local variable for storing the column name of the first column okay and i'll declare another local variable for storing the column name of the second column which should be 2 local sorting 2 so on click of this icon which is for the second column i need to store the name of this column right in a local variable for which i have already declared a local variable local sorting 2 and will be storing the field name in this local variable which is nothing but last name okay and will do the same for the first column okay here in this text icon i'll just paste it and this should be local sorting one okay and the field name should be first name okay and here you can see it's clickable now these icons right now if i click this let's see if it is storing the value or not see first name has been stored in this sorting one and if i click this last name will be stored in sorting two right now what we have to do we have to manipulate this data okay and how do we do that using two data subset which is used for data manipulation okay using this function we can efficiently sort a data okay local employees this is the data which we want to manipulate and here the second parameter is paging configuration okay here we can page and sort a data using a bank paging info start index which is nothing but the beginning of the page okay that should be one 
and batch size the number of rows you want to return okay so this should be minus 1 if you pass minus 1 it fetches the entire data okay then we have sort a bank sort info the field should be this local sorting one because this is where we are storing the name of the column right local sorting one and ascending should be true cool we also want to sort by last name right so i'll just copy this as we are going to have a list of sort info so i'll just wrap it inside curly braces as this is an array now right here i think comma is missing this sort info will be used for sorting the data by first name and this will be used for sorting the data by last name this is the local variable where we are storing the column name of the second column right let's say i am sorting by first name john will have the first position then mary and then michael okay if i go ahead and sort it by last name then johnson will be on top right but johnson has michael as his first name but here i have already applied sorting and michael is taking the third position right so this way we are confusing ourselves and two data subset too so on click of this icon i will be making local sorting to null by using another a bank save okay a bank save and then on click of this icon i will be making local sorting one null right so that it doesn't sort by first name we'll just copy this okay and paste it in here this should be in curly braces as we have a list of a bank save okay now if i just try to test this out it says sort should not have blank sort field so here we can use if condition if a bank is null or empty local sorting one okay then do nothing else just sort it by first name and we'll be doing the same for the second sort okay if local sorting is null or empty then do nothing and sort it by last name okay here in the second grid row layout this is iterating over local employees but we have manipulated our data to sort it efficiently right so this should be iterating over now local data now let's try to test this out i'm going to sort it by first name okay see mary has taken the second position and then michael has taken the third position now if i try to sort it by last name it doesn't seem to be working see it's not storing the name of the column right let's dig into the code and see why it is behaving like that okay here we are storing null in local sorting to it should be local sorting one instead okay and here it should be local sorting my bad it should be local sorting too because if i sort it by first column it has to make all of the local variables which are storing the field name null so on click of this i will be making local sorting null and on click of the second i will be making lo local sorting one null okay now it should work so i'll first sort it by first name yeah now i'll sort it by last name yes now i'll again sort it by first name it seems to be working now if i try to change the name will it get sorted not really sure right so let's try that out i'll just make it z no it's not getting sorted it should take the last position right why because here in local data we are manipulating this local employees data now we have updated the name of the first row which has been updated in this local data see as you can see first name has been updated to z but local employee is still holding the previous name which was john so we also have to update this local employees okay how would we do that we will use a bank update function to update the first name and the last name okay a bank save target should be local employees 
in value we will use a bank update function if we have three parameters data index and value data should be local employees then we have index okay at what index we want to update that particular value so let's say i want to change the name of the third row michael for which the current index would be three right because michael is at third position so the current index would be three now i will try to find the current index in this identifier attribute okay so three is at index two right in these indices we can see three is at index two and now i will be updating the value of index two in local employees so at index two i have this row where the first name is michael and last name is johnson so i it will be updating the second row in local employees why second row because this current index which is three lies at index two three is at second position so it is going to update the row in local employees which is at index two okay so here index index of local data this is the attribute which we are interested in local data dot i'll just copy this okay and paste it over here and then we have to look for the current index right fp index and the default value okay so here it is gonna find the current index in this local dot data dot identify then we have value okay now i will have to update the same value which we have updated in this local data so index of local data dot data this local data dot data it is going to find the row which is at current index current index is 3 so it is gonna find the row which is at index 3 so in local data michael has taken the third position right because this is the data which we have manipulated and in local employees michael has taken the second position because we haven't manipulated this data right that's the reason i look for the current index cool we'll do the same for the second column okay done now we'll try to test this out let me switch to preview mode okay i will first sort it by first name see mary has taken the second position now i'll change the name of john to z okay look it has automatically taken the third position because we have already applied sorting on the first name right now we'll try to sort it by last name now michael has taken the first position because we have sorted it by last name now if i try to update the last name of second row to as it is gonna take the first position see and as has Ma mary as his first name okay so that's how it is working but before even implementing this you have to test each and every scenario which just hits your mind okay and as per your use case you can tailor this cool also if you have any question let me know below in the comment section if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye